What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Never Go Living back with another P Way to Pick Warriors video. And today we have two dates for you guys: a Julia date. So I know you guys are probably excited for that. And we have a date. oh hello. And if we can somehow unlock another date by tomorrow, then we also have this new bonus date that we just unlocked right here. Um, so yeah, that's what we got lined up. But real quick, guys, before we get started, make sure if you have not already to subscribe to the channel, please stay tuned for all the uh, awesome content that I'm bringing you guys. But uh, without further ado, let's get it started. Old habits die hard. Julia is finally well enough to see you again, and she's decided to introduce you to her elderly grandmother at an old folks' home. Okay. You and Julia are sitting in a waiting area of an old folks' retirement home. You're waiting for Julia's grandmother to wake up so you can see her. Sorry about the wait. I'm sure she'll be awake soon. No rush. I hope so. It's fine, no rush. Thanks. I just really want to see her before my birthday. She can't make the party. She's way too old for that these days. While Julia is talking, you receive a text from the local baker. You've been trying to decide on what kind of cake to get made for her birthday. Who are you texting? It's a secret. A secret, eh? We're not supposed to have secrets. One of the carers at the home comes out to speak to Julia. Your grandmother has just woken up. Once she's had her medication, you can go through. Brilliant. Thank you. The carol leaves. I'm looking forward to meeting your grandmother. Me too. She's a sweet old lady. It's my adopted father's mother who you're seeing today. Not my mother's mother who was mean to me and has already passed, thankfully. Harsh. Oh, wow, harsh or... You shouldn't say that. I'll just say harsh. I know it's harsh, but it's true. That attitude runs in the family, I guess. Oh, obviously, don't mention what's happening right now between my parents. Of course not. I wouldn't dare. I think they're good now anyway. Dad implied that one of them had done something bad, but they were working through it. My money is on Dad having an affair. You know it was her mother who had their affair. Will you say anything? What makes you think that? Just a hunch. Why? Do you... The carer comes in to speak to you just as Julia is about to ask you a tough question. We can go through now. Oh, sure. Thank you. You and Julia head over, head on over to our grandmother Felicity's room. Felicity. Julia. Grandma, this is Carol. You wave at Felicity and she laughs. Shy one, isn't he? Ha <laughs> ha, he is. Come and give me a hug, dear boy. I won't bite much. You hug her and sit down next to Julia. Julia and her grandmother start to catch up on things. Meanwhile, you get another text about the cake. You reply and Julia notices. You text him back your secret lover again? I wish. Oh, thanks. Oh, I was making a joke. Yeah, he's only kidding, Julia. Probably planning a surprise for your birthday. Are you? I'm not telling you anything. He's going to a lot of trouble for y'all, but give the man some privacy. You know what? I'm glad you're not coming to my party now. You team up against me. Haha, <laughs> oh, I, I do wish I could make it. Me too. Why can't you come? You should come anyway. Why can't you come? I'm too long in the tooth now, Sonny. I just can't away. Shame, though. I would love to toast my granddaughter. Birthday. There's a pub around the corner. Sorry. The, car the carers won't let her out. They say she hurt herself. It's true. I think I'd be fine, but they say no. I'll go get us some wine, then. Oh, that would be nice. You'll have to hide it, though. Yeah, that's a lovely idea. Good thinking, Kev. I wish I had the gems. I probably would have done it. You sneak off to the store to purchase some wine. Felicity's favorite. When you return, you have a few drinks with Felicity and Julia. To Julia. Happy forthcoming birthday. May she be as beautiful as you are at her age. Ooh, what a charmer. Look at all that meter. He is all right. Nice. You all clink your glasses, and Kara walks by and texts you. That was a nice ending. Julia was getting quite jealous, though. I have a feeling Julia will find out the truth about her father soon enough, though. The real question is, will she find out that you knew and didn't tell her about it? Probably. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to go down. But uh, that's the Julia. Now on to Hi. We haven't done a date with her. Hello. Rhythm and baby blues. A date at an R&B concert finally allows you and Andrea to bond. But will a late night emergency ruin your romantic? Oh yeah, 
Yeah, because she's the lady with the kid, right? <laughs> During a break in the music, Andrea puts her hand on your I just want to apologize for not being available lately. You know how it is. You should give yourself a break sometimes. I understand myself. I totally understand. You got to put your kid first. Thanks. I knew you'd understand. Tonight's been great so far, though. Would you like another drink? You deserve it. How late is your shit or booked until? Good. I'm I'm glad you're having fun. You deserve it. Lately, I definitely do. My son's been so ill lately. It's a nightmare. Oh, really? I hope he's okay. I'm sure he'll be fine. I want to switch off from that tonight. I understand. Let's talk about something else. Have you made any plans for the holiday soon? Nope. Pretty boring life I live, right? The band starts getting ready to play again. Not at all. Now then, would you care to dance? You know what? I would absolutely love to. You and I just slow dance through the band's entire set. You even enjoy a kiss halfway through. The band ends and the singer points you and Andrea out. And I just want to say thanks to the hot couple in the middle of the dance floor there. You made our music feel sexier than it ever has. The crowd applauds and you return to your table. That was lovely. Just when I need it. Dancing might just be our thing. You should make time for this more often. Me too. Dancing might be our thing. I think so too. Uh, look at the time. I just need to check to see if the set is called. Oh, he has called. I'll just ring back quickly. Sorry, I'll be two minutes. Andrea goes to call the sitter and returns looking flustered. So sorry, gotta go. He's been throwing up. I have to take him to the hospital. I'll order you a taxi. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I insist. Call a taxi. Thank you for understanding. I wish we could have had more time. What time we had was amazing. It is a shame, but what can you do? Your son is more important. As I do, but your son is more important. Please let me know. I will. You're wonderful. I'm, I mean that. It's All so right. Dope. Hey, now I don't know if to pick her for the thumbnail. Julia, superb work, Kev. Your understanding of Andrea's position and her commitments, and not once did you make her feel worried or guilty that this would impact your relationship. This is important as when Andrea does find time to see you, it needs to be her haven from her hectic home life. <laughs> well, I'd say we handled that pretty, pretty well. Okay, well, that's all we have for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. So you know you video. That being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.